Hi, my name's Marianne Moore. I am an abstract oil painter. I tend to use very, very thick oil paint and lots of texture to create almost sculptural-like oil paintings. What is my background? Well, I grew up in the West Country. My dad was a musician. He's a double bass player and a bass guitarist. And my mum was very artistic. She went to art college and taught me how to paint as a child. Most of my art is informed from my experiences in myself. So many of my paintings have come from specific points in my life and different emotions that I may be feeling at the time and are almost pictorial representations of kind of my inner soul at the time. Maybe that might be because of a heartbreak or because of processing different emotions or different things that have happened. But then also they represent confidence and they've definitely changed over the years as I have become more confident in myself as a woman and so I've noticed that as I guess kind of both as I've become a more confident painter and more confident in myself you can see more clearly the boundaries within the paintings and there is a more assertive representation that I'm creating in the work, I would say. My influences come from different directions. It could either be kind of themes or the actual aesthetics of how people's work looks. So I really, really love minimalist art and I really like Agnes Martin and some of that really white abstract, um, very beautiful and kind of quiet painting. I also really love sculpture and I love the texture of um, Giacometti and how he kind of like uses those knobbly um, bits of the sculpture to kind of create real interesting um, movement and texture. And I really am particularly inspired also by kind of feminist artists like um, Judy Chicago or Jenny Savile. Um, I like Tracy Emin. And Sally Hewitt, I like anybody who who basically tries to challenge our existing thinking or empower women through art, either by kind of showing their history or making them feel proud of their bodies or where they came from. So I really enjoy also people pushing the boundaries. I don't feel like my art pushes the boundaries that much, but I am really attracted to artists who who just kind of take creativity to its furthest place. I think the biggest challenge of being an artist for a long time for me was actually defining myself as an artist and coming to terms with the fact that I was an artist. I always felt like I was one in my soul, but I felt like I wasn't allowed to call myself one because... I wasn't making money from it and I wasn't really pursuing it properly as a career. But then the more and more I carried on in my life and I kept painting and I kept needing to do art and kind of saw it as a real kind of compulsion. Um, And the more I kind of allowed myself it in my life, the more I feel like I understood that I am an artist and I can't really not create art and integrating that aspect of the artist into my soul and myself along with the other things that I do and and kind of enjoy has been really important for me and then I guess the next <laughs> the next challenge is is having other people recognize you as such and appreciating your art because art is so subjective so it's obviously going to be liked by some and not liked by others. And so I think finding the people who your art resonates with can be really challenging as an artist, especially when you're, there are so many people and everybody is trying to, to get noticed. So it can be quite a, a hard slog where you just have to keep going and going. And I think just the fact that 
you have to keep creating will eventually <laughs> eventually mean that it's sustained but it doesn't always meet with great um, applause or recognition or financial reward what advice would I give to my younger self well I actually feel like it's my younger self who's giving advice to me now <laughs> I'm 41 years old and I've gained a lot more inspiration by looking back at how creative I was as a child and the kind of art that I was creating when I was young because it was really ambitious I kind of created massive sculptures and I didn't really have any limits I just was a pretty creative and free being and I think that it's it's more that I over the years have become indoctrinated in normal life and what is you're meant to do with your career and you know this idea that you can't live and be an artist has kind of ground me down a little bit and so emerging in my kind of late 30s and early 40s I feel like it's really not wisdom that I need to give back to myself it's it's remembering what I knew as a child and allowing myself to be as free and creative as I wanted to be then and as I was then and as I feel like I really um, need to be now. The majority of my work is oil paint which is a pretty traditional medium and I do tend to mix things in with that so I'll mix charcoal or pastel or powder and um, different gold and silver and bronze mediums and things like that. I am also experimenting at the moment with bringing in silk and I used to paint on silk as a child and it's kind of reminded me that silk is a really interesting uh, medium to paint on and so I want to incorporate some of that into my abstract works. I would say that as <laughs> as a child, as I mentioned, I was much more ambitious. I used to create gigantic metal sculptures. I made a foam chair, office chair, um, pair, which was kind of gigantic as well. And I used glass and all sorts of different mediums. And I used to make very big constructions. But yes, in general, I would say that I don't use so much unconventional mediums as... Um, as traditional ones. However, what I do do is use oil in a way that is relatively unique in the sense of how much thickness I use. So I really do sculpt with the paint rather than paint, I say, I guess. I um, want to kind of create height and movement and I really enjoy making the painting look as if it's kind of ripping out of the canvas. So that would be a, a kind of relatively unconventional way of using a more conventional medium. Do I listen to music or have any other type of background noise? It totally depends on where I'm at. Often, often I will have music. Often, especially if a painting is more of a cathartic release, I will have music, I will be singing and I will be painting and it will be a kind of full body and... Um, sound experience because I kind of need to almost get it all out of me and I really find that music helps with that and I feel very connected with with music in the sense of of how it helps me to either kind of get through or process thoughts or feelings or um or just to kind of hear my voice um so but sometimes I do paint in complete silence um but normally it would be it would be with music because i think when it's silent then it's it's more likely that i'm kind of doing something else as well somehow because sometimes it would be because i might be filming my process or because i'm having to kind of think about how i am portraying my work as well at the same time so that takes it out of um the more kind of cathartic place and is is more of a kind of controlled artistic experience the best reaction that someone has had to my work is somebody who bought two paintings and told me that every time she looks at them they make her feel powerful 
that was probably the most soul nourishingly complimentary and wonderful feeling to hear that feedback because I I mean I wouldn't have even dreamed that my paintings would be able to do that um I'm so happy that they have um but I think I probably wouldn't have even had that ambition that somebody could look at my paintings and feel more powerful but the very fact that somebody said that and um and that that would be what I want um, people to feel if they if they look at them was massively heartwarming to me and very 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 encouraging so what I hope people would take away from my artwork is really that if um, if it could make people feel more powerful then that's brilliant if they just like the look of it if the colors match <laughs> what they were where they might want to put the painting then that's good if they can feel in some way inspired or happy or um if at least the artwork somehow adds to somebody's life then I would be very happy for them to take that away from my artwork <laughs>